All right, let's see. Yes. I would like to go back to the topic started by Debbie and then continued by Jennifer. Sure. Um, so as problem solvers, what already works doesn't often matter to us. So we may focus on criticizing the things that aren't good or don't work. But in the spirit of objectivity, it's also okay to uh, add some redundancy in appreciating the things that are good. So for example, like I would not say we should give someone a fake feedback about something they're doing well. But if we are telling our partner or even someone at work that they are doing something wrongly, Uh, Mm -hmm. There is, I think there is value in, even if we are repeating ourselves and saying, oh, but I really appreciate what you did for me then. So I think at least I have to remind myself of this because to me, what already works does not matter as much as what needs to be improved. But as an egoist, if my partner only complains to me, then I might feel, why are you with me? Because I don't see you getting any value from me, right? You always complain. You don't say anything positive. I am not being an altruist, but as an egoist, I don't think you should be with me if I'm not adding any value to your life. So in that sense, I feel like there is genuine uh, value in, even if you're just repeating the positive that we've already mentioned before. I mean, I think that's absolutely right. And it's a crucial point about justice and uh, much, much more important than criticizing people is complimenting people, is, is telling them the value that they represent. And this is part of what it means to, I think, be a good boss. If you're going to be open and critical of them, then you've got on other occasions when they do good work. Tell them they've done good work. Tell them what's good about them. Tell them what value they've added to to, to the project, to your life, to whatever it happens to be. This is true in friendship. It's true in love. And it's true in, uh, and it's true in, um, in work relationships. So, creating an environment that is honest, right? Creating an environment that is honest is, goes, it means being honest. It means being honest about everything, not just about the things that are bad. And I think objectivists tend to focus on the the, the being honest about the things that are bad. They tend to be critical of everything. In that sense, they're like Jews, right? So they, they, they tend to complain and they tend to be critical. Right. Um, and that's not being objective. It's not being objective. Right. Uh, so if you create a context in which every time you see something good, you, you address it. And then when you see something bad, you address it. Now you get objectivity and the recipient is much more likely to accept what you said, uh, you know, uh, uh, properly. Right and and objectively because they they understand that there's an objective relationship going on here. Uh, sometimes we do this artificially in the sense that we go, you know, whenever you want to criticize something, first say something good and then say the negative. That's you know artificial and therefore bullshit. I I, I think a good relationship is one where you're constantly giving feedback and that feedback is good when it's good and it's negative when it's good negative and it is what it is. Right. Uh, and uh, people can see through the I say something nice and then I say something not so nice and it doesn't really work unless you've created this relationship in which things are constantly in flow. Yeah. And it, that sandwich style of feedback where you put like something good, then the critical feedback, then something good. People see through that and it dilutes the message that you're really trying to send, which is the, but absolutely, I give positive feedback too. And I think that's part of the reason why my team's okay with me being, you know, kind of direct with the more critical feedback. We got, but it's it's really important for this is about the moral and the practical being one and the same, because as a matter of justice, yes, to recognize when someone does something good, but it's all, it's, it's necessary in a practical sense at the same time for reinforcing those behaviors and not just generally saying, saying, hey, good job, you do a good job, like things like that. Okay, that's nice, but it doesn't help as much as specifically, I love the email that you sent because you were super concise, got right to the point and sent the message that you needed to so that people could, you know, so that it's a more specific actionable feedback. Why was it good? Why did I do a good job today as opposed to, to not? Absolutely. And it's amazing how little positive feedback people get and 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 uh, and is provided out there. Um, you know, I just see it. 
I, I mean, some people are really good at it and some people are just terrible at it. I, I mean, the people who are most critical of my show never say a good thing about it. They never say, or, or about me generally, never say a nice thing. So I'll get these, I'll get an email from a longtime objectivist saying, how could you say this and this in the debate? Every objective, I mean, that's exactly the opposite of Ayn Rand. Every objectivist know that, you know, who, you know, some, some, now if it's somebody who in the past has said, good job on this debate or good job on this and that, then when he says something like that, I go, okay, he's angry. I get it. But if that's the only message I ever get from that person to hell with them, I mean, and even if they're right, <laughs> you know, tell with them. And in this case, they were right. But, um, you know, it's like, and I, I it's, you, you've got to, if, if, if you, up at the point where you're going to give critical feedback to people, you've got to build the relationship with them. And it, it can't just be once every five years, you send somebody a, a nasty message and, uh, uh, you know, and tell them how awful they are. You're not going to get to them. It doesn't achieve anything positive. Yeah, I would just I would just quickly add that um, first, this hel helps rationally reinforce my view of the benevolent universe, not just fall into seeing the negatives, not not to delude myself, but to rationally remind myself when things are good. Mm -hmm. And second, if we can criticize the same thing twice, then we can also appreciate the same thing twice. Absolutely, so it doesn't always have to be that. Okay, you I already appreciated you for that, so why should I have to mention it again? I don't see it that way. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support. I'll go to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution. Uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.